out on the cross country course now with Ben Hasty, head groundsman at Cheltenham. Um, it looks in great nick. First of all, how long have you been at Cheltenham personally, Ben? Uh, I've been at Cheltenham since 2006 um, and I've been head groundsman for the last three years now. Um, before that, various roles, assistant head, etc. It's such a, a vast space here to, to manage and, and to, to keep in good nick ahead of racing, building up to the, um, the showcase meeting here. What have you had to do, Ben, to, to make sure everything's right for the first time you race here this season? So basically, throughout the summer, it's, it's a lot of repair work, so the track gets repaired. It has a little bit of a rest as well, obviously, because we use it um, between October and May for racing. So from May through to about August time, we do all our renovation works, um, the lads will get everything ready um, for racing, basically start again in October. So from August onwards, we then start setting the track up for racing. We'll be putting out all the rail, um, we'll be irrigating if necessary, getting all the fences and hurdles out ready. You mentioned irrigating if necessary, there's actually a bit of water going down as we, we stand at the moment, but I mean, is that a regular thing you'll just have to do over the summer? Or is it a case of say, you know, June, July, August, you just leave it and let nature take yeah, its course, so or do you always have to do that maintenance? No, so during, generally during the summer we won't irrigate at all. Right. So um, a lot of people find that a little bit strange as why wouldn't you irrigate when it's at its warmest. The reason we do that is because um, we need to keep our water source for the racing season. So obviously if we're irrigating all summer and then we haven't got enough water for, to irrigate during racing, so we don't need to irrigate during the summer. Um, the track basically looks after itself. We do little bits and bobs to help it along the way, but we don't actually need to irrigate during the summer. I think people, you know, I, I'm guilty of this, certainly when I was coming racing as a fan, I, I turn up to Cheltenham in particular, and it would all just be there. Fences are done, everything's ready. Your main focus as a punter coming in is, oh, what's the ground gonna be like? But it, it sort of feels like it, it just happens. Whereas the work that you guys in the build up to meetings and on race day put in, I've, I've now come to realise, I mean, it's non-stop, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got um, 12 guys working for me and we, we're, a, we're a team that's got plenty of experience. Um, we've probably got well over 100 years experience between us all. A lot of people, what they seem to think is that we're only here for the race season. Well, we're really here 340 days of the year. Um, so we're all full time and during the summer obviously we're doing all the renovation like you say we've got a, a site of 350 acres. There's plenty of things going on during the summer, we can have music festivals, things like that so we're always doing something. Then obviously as we come into the racing season we're geared up for the racing so we're getting everything ready, we're going for all the things that we need to get done, we're having inspections from the BHA and then of course when it comes to the racing it's it's manic. Um, we're basically sort of doing 16, 17, 18 hour days to get stuff done, make sure everything's right, make sure that the racing goes ahead as a, as a complete success. What's the day after racing like when racing's finally finished? Um, the Probably my lowest day of the whole year um, in, during the race season is the Saturday after the festival. It <laughs> is it's quite bleak. Yeah, it's quite surreal in that um, obviously we're we're working during the festival, there's 80,000 people here for the four days and then you come in on the Saturday and there's probably one man and his dog and that's it. It's, it's really surreal. Um, that's a very low, low day. That said, I mean, I, I'd imagine, I mean, you, you live just over the way there, but getting up and, and coming and looking at Cleve Hill and this as far as an office goes, it's not bad, is it? No, and then, I mean, I've had people sort of say to me, oh, well, you probably, probably don't really want to live on site and you're never away from work, but I can honestly say out of everywhere I've ever lived, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else, actually, because like you say, you get up in the mornings and although I'm responsible for the whole track, I mean, just the views when you get up, out of my living room window, I can see the whole racetrack. Um, and it's just, it, it doesn't get bored. Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah. get bored of the view. It's the same view every day, but it, everything changes for some reason. It is magic here, isn't it? Yeah. What's yep. your, what, on, on, a, on, a, on the day itself, do you get to, on, on race days itself, say showcase meeting wise, do you yep. get to get up and close to the horses or are you out here all the time? Yeah, so um, basically on a race day, I'll meet um, Simon Clay's clerk of the course uh, about 6 a.m. in the mornings. Um, from then onwards, it's basically just making sure that everything's ready. The lads are out doing various bits and bobs. Um, then me and Simon will walk the course with the stewards um, at some point during racing. Again, just to make sure everything's going well. Um, just confirming what we think the ground conditions are. From then onwards, all of my guys have got different jobs on race days. So me personally, I'm in the following convoy that goes round on the inner road. So that'll include um, TV cameras, vets, doctors, um, myself and some other members of my team. And it's really just to check that everything's going well. Um, make sure all the horses are coming back in safely. Uh, then we'll go up to the winner's enclosure. So I'll follow up the winner just to make sure that everything's okay with the winner. Um, you get, then, you, we walk in behind the winner? Yeah, so I'll walk, in, I'll walk in behind the winner up into the winner's enclosure just to make sure everything's okay with the winner. 
Um, and then once the winner's in there, I'll, I'll have a chat with Simon Clace um, and we'll just discuss the race. I'll have a word with a few jockeys and just say, look, what do you think the going conditions are? Obviously, if you ask the winner, they always say it's perfect. Um, <laughs> Never had a but, winner go. It's not, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but it, no, it's really helpful, obviously, uh, quite unique, obviously, where the chute comes down. So the horses, as they're coming back in through, I can check with um, any of the jockeys really and just say any issues, what you think the ground is. And they're really helpful. They'll always let you know what they think. Um, even if they don't think you want to hear it, they'll still let you know. Um, and then me and Simon will have a bit of a, just a bit of a debrief really. What's your favourite chart in memory over the last few years? Um, I think seeing Vator um, of Willie Mullins is and Ruby Walsh. I think seeing him was, was sublime really. Um, I've never seen a horse jump quite so well. Um, coming into these sort of, the last few years, Tiger Roll. Um, just, just what he's done, he's obviously won the two mile Triumph Hurdle, he's won the four miler. He's won the cross country and then he's gone and won the Grand National. And he's he's a tiny horse as well. He's just, I mean, he, he literally has taken everyone's hearts and he's he's something else. And you got to walk in behind him when he won yep. the cross country yep. last year with that reception. Yeah, yeah. So during the festival, I mean, it literally does make your hair stand on end. So I got to walk in behind Altior, Frodon, Tiger Roll. You walk in behind them sort of horses and this is why you do the job that you do because it is just something else. It's just nothing quite like it. Uh, happy days. You got me excited already. I'm smiling. Uh, good man. Good luck with yep. the season ahead. Yeah, brilliant. Thank Cheers. you so much.